Hey guys, Captain Levi here. Uh, really wanted to touch up on this ever since I made my last video, which is just like my little Bomb Fancy Characters video. But this one's about the Regalia Type F. And guys, I've seen this at E3 this year. I flipped the fuck out. There's two reasons. A, I'm that huge, fabulous Nova Crystallis guy. And B, I love me some theories. And uh, this one's actually a little bit more backed up than just a simple little theory. Because uh, there's this uh, game called Final Fantasy Type Zero that a lot of people seem to not like for some reason. It's actually now on my top five favorite. And uh, for, for anybody who actually is a completionist of Final Fantasy Type Zero, you come to find out that there actually is a airship in Final Fantasy Type Zero. Like, yes, fully flyable airship, everything. And it's called the Setzer. And that's why I flipped out when I seen this uh, the regalia type F uh, reveal video was because it, the <laughs> the regalia type F seriously got its inspiration from the sensor. Like the sensor is about to pop up on the screen here in just a moment. And you're gonna see it has the two pegs sticking out in the bottom or two legs if you want. It has that little 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 tail sticking straight out the back, a little stingray tail, and it has. Those two like little turbine little blue light up things on the wings and the wings are almost similar to the regalia Except for the fact that the regalia has them sticking out from the sides of it. And it's just so cool to just be looking at this and If for anybody who does have a question. Yes, I have 100% completed type zero. So Bear with me when I say I, I, I know my shit a little bit. I know my shit just a little bit, but uh <laughs> going on yeah. the the thing about the Setzer that makes me believe that it has the, that it, it, it inspired the Type F regalia, well, let's start off with the name, of course, Type F, Type F, I, I don't know what that F can stand for, Type Fabula, dude, I don't know, dude, <laughs> regalia Type Fabula, dude, that'd be cool, but remember, it's just a theory, um, and another thing, just being real cool about it, it's two reasons why I call this airship, the unknown airship, it's because A, like, I said before, like almost like 70% of the players who beat Final Fantasy Type Zero didn't or never ever even found out that there was a fucking airship to this game. So every time I stream Type Zero, I always get a question from somebody. Wait, what? There's a, there's a, there's an airship here. I don't. What? There's an airship in this game? It's like yeah, it's like, it's not required. That's the thing, you have to do like these quests in a certain pattern. And you gotta go all the way to the end of this continent by the end of the Melitizi Empire. And you gotta go to this cave called Silent Key. You can see the airship from the outside sticking out of the ground. But uh, regardless from that, guys, like the fact that there's all this lore to an airship and then it went unseen. Like inside of this airship, the nameless tome, the tome that, that they, they, they speak the passage of at the beginning of the game, the. When 9 and 9 meets 9, the reason of death shall stir. When the seal of creation is broken, uh, a voice like thunder shall sound. And thou shalt know we have arrived. That's from the nameless tome. That tome is inside of this, the, this airship. And on top of that, there is a flight log with no recorded flight history. Which is fucking crazy. That, that's just, just so cool. And then the fact that the players didn't really get into it. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't Final Fantasy or Square Enix just be like, yo, you know what? We're just gonna get some real cool designs from this. Still show you guys we're implementing some fabula in this 15 game. Captain Levi out.